and welcome to Monday and another weekly reading vlog. Yay! Hi, hi, hi. I'm wearing my Sunny Days Ahead t-shirt because I'm hoping there's sunny days ahead. It was a sunny weekend and now it is cloudy, but I think it's meant to be hot weather for the rest of the week, which is good because hot weather is my, my supreme weather. This week I am starting off by reading The Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. This is a book that I was reading last week. It was sent to me very kindly by Orbit. It comes out in September. It's a fantasy, it's own voices, it's diversity, it's got like five different narrative perspectives I'm trying to keep up with and I'm really enjoying it. I'm yay far through and I've, I've tabbed two bits that I really enjoyed so it's a good book. I'm really liking it. You should all go buy it on the 10th of September or pre-order it beforehand. I don't know what is happening with this camera today. I'm, I'm all like woohoo. Anyway, sorry. It's my clear excitement to be vlogging. Are you excited for another weekly reading vlog? I hope so. My hair has gone insane today. I started co-washing on, on the curly girl method, which is when you have a special conditioner that takes the place of your shampoo. So the conditioner cleans it in the way that the shampoo would, but I don't know, it's meant to make your hair more curly and bigger. It's definitely made it bigger. Um, I will be continuing to use it and seeing how the curls become. This is day two, so the curls have fallen out a bit and I haven't re-wetted it, so. Anyway, you're not here for that. Um, I have become very, very obsessed with Animal Crossing. I was already really into it, but now I'm like really getting into how I want my island to look. Honestly, it feels like it's a full-time job just trying to organize your friggin' island. Moving one house every day at a time is painful, but it's fun and at the end of it I'll have a really cool island except I keep watching island tours and finding more different ideas and now I'm like mm, I want to do more stuff. Hmm. As it is Monday I'm going to do my morning plant cleaning whilst I also wait for my eggs to boil for breakfast because hard boiled eggs and obviously working today as usual but yes I'm gonna go down and get my breakfast and stuff and take a 10 minute break to do all of that so happy Monday we start to the week. Hopefully it shall be a good one with reading because this is really good but also Animal Crossing is really distracting so help me. By the way I got another plant. My mum went to Waitrose and she asked what I wanted and I said a cute succulent and she bought me back this. It is a succulent ceramic. How creative. Okay it's from Holland. Fun. Um, what should I name him slash her? Give me some suggestions in the comments. This is how I currently transport half my plants downstairs. This is my smaller succulent collection. Am I becoming a crazy plant lady? Yeah, probably. Am I mad about it? No. Ava, what have you been doing? Playing Beth's Animal Crossing game. You've been doing my chores, haven't you? Yep. Very helpful of you. We're having a complete island reshuffle, aren't we? Yep, and we visited one island and we're about to do another after our walk. Yay! Good evening, afternoon, some time of day on Monday. Um, it's been a really thrilling day today. I've been working all day and you might have seen earlier that Ava was playing Animal Crossing on my behalf. Basically, my terraforming has just, I've just been giving it to her to do. I've told her where I wanted to do it and she's been doing it. Like a good little slave. I joke, I am not, she's not my slave. But she enjoys playing it and doesn't have her own Switch, so she's welcome to play mine when I am working. So I've just basically got the Animal Crossing theme tune going round and round in my head and now I'm just going to wait until later and try and find Scorpion Island. But hey look, my new Apple Watch strap arrived which is Van Gogh Sunflowers which I very much like. And now I am sat down finishing editing last week's reading vlog to go up on Wednesday. I've finished the edit but now I just need to watch it through. It's 32 minutes so I've just got to try and check it's all okay and there's nothing in there that shouldn't be in there. I really like editing because I used to want to be an editor. So editing, yes. However, when it comes to doing the final watch through, I can never be bothered because I've always watched it like each day I edit, I watch it as a day. And then to watch it all at once is so much. And there's never anything I change. I just do it just in case I've accidentally kept something in there that shouldn't have been in there. Just, just to try and get it just right. So I'm sure that I'll be watching this next week and thinking, shut up, stop talking. You're been talking for too long you're giving me too much to edit so I'm gonna stop talking and just go and edit. Okay I've done it achievement unlocked I edited the vlog and now I'm exporting it and then I'll be uploading it to YouTube and it will be live on Wednesday which you don't care about because you're watching this vlog uh, however I've got many other videos so you can go check them out too if you like. Also just watched back the clip before this one which I have kept in my edit but I don't know what happened to the sound I think it, I might have been holding 
my phone too far into my desk. Um, here's, here's the desk. There's me from like just now, Inception, right? I think I might have held it too far in here and it kind of created a weird echo. So I apologize. I tried to play about other sound levels in post, but I don't know what happened there. Um, so I am apologizing now and I'm not gonna change it because sod it, I filmed it. So I can't be bothered to redo it. I am gonna go eat dinner soon. Also, for those of you who still live at home, at the moment, are you suddenly realising the exact life of someone still living at home that is an adult? Because I'm in my mid-twenties and yet I can guarantee you in about five minutes my sister's going to come knock on my door and say mummy tells me dinner's ready. And that's just great because my sister's seven and I am not. And I, yeah, I, I, I live at home still for various different reasons, um, mainly because I don't like the area I live in. Um, we moved here four years ago and um, it's not where I'm from I'm not from Wiltshire I'm born in Oxford raised in Berkshire so not Wiltshire and I don't really know where I want to live so that's one of my problems the town I live in I'm not a big fan of because it's quite small there isn't much to do around here whereas the town I'm from is a lot bigger and there's lots of things to do so I don't really know where I want to live because it'll be a case of just starting somewhere fresh on my lonesome which is great yeah so basically that's why I'm still at home not that you guys asked for any of that that's my life story but yes anyway the rest of my day I'm going to go and have dinner then I might try and fit in some reading I've got a FaceTime call with my dad and that side of the family later which I'm looking forward to and I think that's about it um it's still Monday isn't it it is still Monday today went quite fast actually I think it was cute letting over play Animal Crossing and actually quite helped because I just cracked on my work whilst also not having to think about Animal Crossing because she was playing it for me so I emptied that side of my brain I can hear the oven beeping I'm gonna go and eat goodbye hello happy Tuesday I am still reading the Bone Shard Daughter at the moment I am loving this book one of the things it does excellently is putting a variety of sexualities into the story that are just part of the characters it is not what the story is about it is actually in no way relevant at the moment to the plot I say at the moment because I'm only halfway through but it, characters are lesbians characters are homosexuals I don't know if they are bisexuals as well but they're basically involving a much wider range than I would normally read in a fantasy and it is good to read I am very much enjoying how seamlessly part of the plot it is because I feel like a lot of books don't do that and if a character is gay or is on the LGBTQA plus spectrum I feel like it has to be this moment where we get told and it's like this big and then they kissed a girl and I know that obviously when someone realizes that they might like women or like men or like both that is a real like oh my god moment to say that out loud and to tell people when actually it's not like these characters are coming out in the book they are already with their partner it isn't that big coming out moment for them so it really should just be part of the plot and it's not like it, it's not often as well integrated as I'm reading it in this book I hope I'm making sense basically what I'm saying is I understand how big of a deal coming out is however in these books the characters are not coming out they are already out and they are with their partner and it's very public and it's just normal and I really appreciate that there isn't a big deal made of it and it's no different which is I think what we need to see more integrated into our entertainment our media and our literature and we are but the more it's integrated in as completely normal and nothing to even be noticed the more people that are homophobic are hopefully gonna just be forced to look at it because it's on the tv and in the books they're reading so hopefully that will encourage newer generations to just be used to it and stop people being quite so narrow-minded. Am I making any sort of sense? I'm enjoying the book. It's really good. It's also LGBT. Yay! <laughs> I have just decided to take part in the Shelf Help Readathon and I just picked out my TBR and you know what? This readathon is meant to help you clear out your shelves and none of these books are books I would have picked up had it not been for prompts, maybe apart from one of them. So I'm intrigued to see if I will enjoy them. They're not books I wouldn't have picked up. That's the wrong way to say it. They're not books I would have picked up at the moment. I am a mood reader, which is why I don't set TBRs. So my TBR video will be live by the time you're watching this. If you want to check it out, I shall put it at the top here somewhere. This is a readathon that runs from the 16th of May to the 30th. So it's two weeks long, Saturday to Saturday. And yes, there are prompts and stuff. You can check out my video and you can see the prompts and all the links will be in that video. But I'm going to try and take part. So you'll see that slightly in this reading vlog, but also at the end of the next one. It also means 
well, at the start of the next reading vlog. It also means I will have to finish The Bone Child Daughter by Saturday, which I don't know. Um, I might be able to do it if I stop playing Animal Crossing. Good evening. I've not read anything since this morning. Oops. But I had a really productive day at work. I got loads of stuff done for my blog after work. And I played Animal Crossing a bit more. So it's been a good day. And tomorrow is Wednesday, which is the hump day, which means we're halfway through the week. So I'm going to go watch some TV with some frozen raspberries. And then I'm watching Lauren from Fiction Teas live with Stephanie Garber on her Instagram, which is exciting. So I'm going to go do that and then probably read after that's finished at like 10ish. So goodbye. Guys, my hair did such a curly thing today. This is my first day of proper co-washing. So it's when you don't use shampoo and you substitute the shampoo for a special type of conditioner. It's meant to encourage more of the curl. I don't really understand it, but I'm really pleased with it. This is natural, essentially. There's product in it, but I've not added any of these curls myself. This is my hair, which is exciting because I used to have really curly hair and then I straightened it a lot as a kid because I didn't think curly hair was cool. So that was stupid because curly hair is, is very cool. I straightened it a lot and I thought I'd buggered it up. But yeah, my hairdresser, the last time I went just before lockdown, said, why don't I try the curly girl method? Because she's a curly girl hairdresser. So I gave it a go. And I'm really pleased. I'm going to grow it a little bit longer and see how the curls respond to being longer because my head does always seem to go curlier when it's a little longer than this. So I'm excited. But yeah, this is my progress so far um, with the first co-wash. I have been washing it with curly girl method and drying it like that, etc. for a few months. But the co-wash thing is new because I was quite reluctant to not use shampoo because I thought my hair would be greasy and dirty. But it's not. So win! <laughs> Oh, also, I forgot to say that it's whatever day it is. Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Um, you, yeah, it, that, that's all there is to it, really. I'm, I'm working. The birds are chirping, which is always nice. Um, I'm also going to be redoing my logo on my blog. The old one I drew maybe like a year and a half ago. And at the time, I knew it was off in perspective, but I kind of let it be the style. But now it's off in perspective and the colours are not really the colours, the same hex codes that I use anymore. So I want to redo them. But yeah, so Lauren from Fiction Tea is very kindly helping me out with an outline for me to then adapt and draw over and make my own. Which is very kind of her because I am not good at drawing that style. I like drawing like weird things that have no limits and rules. So drawing things that actually have to look in perspective is a struggle so <laughs> I don't know if it'll be finished by the time this goes up or how much time I'll have to dedicate because it takes quite a while to do that on my iPad on Procreate but it's a project so I'm excited so I'm doing that today reading some more of the Bone Shard Daughter which I want to try and finish by Saturday which might be a bit ambitious but I'm halfway through it I read a bit more last night after I watched Lauren's live with Stephanie Garber so yeah I'm on page 233 it's open next to me which is why I know that um not that I'm reading it but I was reading it earlier and left it open so there's that, prepping for a meeting at work, that's quite an important one tomorrow, so putting a deck together for that, which is thrilling, obviously the kind of content you're here for. Yes, let's let's get on with the day. Also, I might start the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix audiobook. I'm doing a reread. I was doing a physical reread, but I quite like balancing the audiobook between the physical book, and I'm not obsessed with any of the audiobooks I'm currently listening to, which is Shadow and Bone and The Raven Boys. Um, the Raven Boys is on script, and the audio narrator is very southern american and it's making me laugh because it's not how i thought the voices would be in my head uh, whether or not it's accurate i don't know but like i don't know why it's just making me laugh which is stupid um and then yeah shadow and bone it's fine i'm just not gripped yet i think i'm struggling because normally i would do a good chunk of my audiobook listening to and from work which is a half hour drive each way um and obviously i'm not driving to work at the moment so i'm not getting that time to listen to the audiobooks so yeah kind of missing that a little bit Oh, I got an email. That's exciting. Yeah, all right. I'm going to go see what that email is and crack on with my day. Right. It is after work. It is Wednesday. I've just filmed a video, which is exciting. So that'll be coming your way in like a couple of weeks by the time you're watching this because I am ahead of myself, which is good. I've got like two Saturdays worth of videos pre filmed at this stage. Woo. Hope you guys are enjoying my content, by the way, because I'm just filming what I fancy and I'm enjoying it. So, yay. And also, have managed to avoid making a monthly TBR video and yet have still made two TBR videos for readathons. So, oops, hey ho. Anyway, 
currently still reading The Bone Shard Daughter. You're probably sick of me saying that now. I'm not even any closer through to the end. Um, can I can I just say once more though how much I love Jovis in this book? Also, two of the main characters, well, two of the characters that we follow have just met each other. And I love it when that happens because they've spent like 250 pages away from each other and now that they've met and it's starting to make more sense and I understand where it's going and I think I know who one of the characters is that keeps getting mentioned but isn't overtly mentioned, mentioned, we don't know who she is. And I'm excited, I am very much enjoying it and I have to finish it by Saturday, that has to happen. So maybe, maybe I could read like into the 300s? I'm on page, no, I'm on page 238. So if I could try and get into the 300s, that would be amazing. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? When did reading become a sport? I've accidentally set myself way too many books to read in the next month and a half because I've got the, she what's it called? Shelf Help. Shelf Help Readathon starting on Saturday. Yep. <laughs> Saturday, Shelf Help. And then in June, we've got the Myth Take. Make Your Own Myth Taker Readathon. That I've just done my TBR video for that will be up when you're watching this on the coming Saturday, maybe. Let's keep an eye out for that. Um, so that's coming and basically I've just set myself gigantic chunky books and that's great because, you know, I can do that, that's fine. June is a summer month, ego sunny month, right? Global warming is meaning that the UK is getting hotter and hotter each year, which is horrible. However, also, I like the sun so I am able to sit out in it and read more so I can maybe do it I don't have faith in myself please give me faith in myself in the comments honestly please basically what I've done today is make the most out of a good hair day by filming I actually filmed two videos I filmed a video on my lunch break as well because I filmed my TBR for the myth take readathon make your own myth taker and I made a little graphic for it as well that I shall share on twitter it's been a good day. I'm just rambling, really. Um, I'm gonna go and read or go for a walk, one of the two. Which one shall it be? You may never know. Or I'll tell you, so you might know. I've lost the sanity that was remaining in my brain if there was any in the first place. Still to be decided. Yeah, thanks so much for, uh, for staying with me, guys, for this reading vlog where I don't do much reading. I'm so sorry. I will get better. I'm gonna stop playing Animal Crossing. It's gonna stop. I'm not gonna play it anymore today maybe but I'm watching Manifest on Sky at the moment with my family and we're watching like one episode a night and tonight we're watching two episodes we're binging it <laughs> I, I feel like we don't really binge very often because there's a seven-year-old in the house we don't get to sit down without her until like eight and then everyone tends to want to go up to bed at ten-ish and I'm like let's watch more so we're actually gonna we're gonna binge two tonight guys it's gonna be crazy I'm gonna have some frozen raspberries it's gonna be wild I hope you have a great day doing whatever you're doing as you're watching this. Make sure to smile. Yay. Look, I went for a walk. I, I did something with my legs and moved for exercise. I just started listening to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on audiobook for my rereads. I'll probably read it alongside as well. But um, <laughs> I'm really enjoying the conversation between Dudley and Harry at the start when they're in the uh, playground and like walking home at night. <laughs> Like, I wish we'd have got more, it's, I wouldn't call it banter because that implies that it's not, it, it's kind of two-sided and they kind of enjoy it, which I think Harry enjoys it, but Dudley does not. Um, but I wish we'd have got more of their relationship through in the film because I, I'm enjoying this a lot. They're basically just ripping each other apart and Harry is just ridiculing everything Dudley says, which is very funny and I'm really enjoying. So I'm going to go back to listening to that now, but I thought I'd give you a little update when I get home. I'm going to have some dinner. Might, might have a, a can of Malibu and pineapple juice. Ooh, Wednesday madness. And then I shall watch TV or read. So yeah, that's my Wednesday evening. Peace out, man. Bye. Why am I doing this? I'm sorry. I'll just... I'll just say, say bye like a normal human without doing that. Goodbye. Good morning, lovely people. It is Thursday. And look how close I am to the end of The Bone Shard Daughter. Lots of stuff's happened in like the last 100 pages that I read yesterday, and it is good. I'm excited to finish it. Hopefully I'll get around to finishing it today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Other than that, today I've got a really important work call happening at 11, which I'm kind of psyching myself up for. So I've got, I've got my shirt type of blouse thing on. So after that, I'll be able to breathe again. 
yes just thought I'd check in say hi let you know what I'm reading and hopefully we'll be able to finish that soon and then I've realized that I've got to read normal people for my book club book for work um we've got to read it by the end of next week and I'm not that fast by picking it up I don't know why I know that everyone said it's really good but I don't know so I might maybe just try and do that in like a one day read because it looks small enough although it also looks like the kind of book that might be quite slow so we'll see we'll see if I get to that but obviously my TBR for the shelf help readathon starts on Saturday so so many books to read so little time it's sunny enough to sit outside and read I'm happy hello it is like sometime on Thursday I think pretty sure it's Thursday this week has gone really quick anyway I've got like 30 pages left of the bone shard daughter oh my god Beth's actually gonna finish a book this week it's gonna happen so I'm gonna try and finish that tonight or tomorrow I've just been set out in the sun reading but I'm gonna go for a walk quickly before dinner to get my mile in this book has turned weird <laughs> like really weird there's a couple of angles I thought it was gonna take and it hasn't and um, the ones it has taken instead are just like what there's a relationship change around I don't mean like a romantic one I just mean like a relationship between two people that you thought was one thing and now it's a different thing and I'm just like it's messed up it's messed up I'm enjoying it it's it's losing it a little bit as I get further into it I preferred it at the start but honestly what also yes I've changed clothes again because this is my comfy top now um and I'm going for a walk so I'm gonna listen to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix I am insanely aware at the moment of how samey my content is. That is because we're still obviously not allowed to go anywhere at the moment. We can now drive for exercise, but that's only been allowed since yesterday. And given that I'm working full time, it's still a bit tricky to do that in a lunch break. And after work, it just, it doesn't quite fit in. So I'll probably do that at the weekend. But for now, we're walking in a field. I say we, myself and you, the audience, the camera. And listening to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, as I said earlier, I've nearly finished The Bone Shard Daughter. And I might pick up Normal People after that if I can finish it tonight. And then I can read that tomorrow and try and get that finished by Saturday in time for the readathon. So hopefully I'll actually finish more than just The Bone Shard Daughter this week because this has been a slightly slower reading week because that book is, I wouldn't call it heavy, but it's just got like, I don't know. There's a lot of perspectives, so I, I'm not feeling like, oh, I really want to pick it up. So yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's not a good feeling. It's not a bad feeling, but yeah. Good morning. It's finally Friday. I, I'm, I'm absolutely sure today is Friday. I've been unsure of the day all week, but today is absolutely Friday. And guess what I finished last night? The Bone Shard Daughter. I gave this one a three out of five stars. It didn't score too highly on Core Pile. And I, hmm, something really weird happened at the end of it. And I can't say anything because I don't want to spoil it but it's just like I'm all for varying different types of plots and nothing much makes me think mm, or puts me off but there was something that happened in this that I just thought was immensely bizarre and just made me feel a bit grossed out and grimmed out and it really put me off um it was to do with a relationship between two of the characters and yeah I I I don't know why it just it was really weird and those kind of things don't normally affect me so I definitely enjoyed it for like 300 pages and then it just started to tail off a hell of a lot was happening there was a lot of different characters and I just couldn't really keep up with them and I felt a bit lost towards the end so would I recommend it maybe <laughs> I'm not too sure I'm very aware that this is a proof because there was a lot of typos in this so I don't know how many changes are going to be put into the finished copy doesn't come out till September, so there's a lot can be done. Yeah, that's my thoughts on this. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Three stars. But now I'm moving on to reading Normal People by Sally Rooney. So the shelf help readathon starts tomorrow, so I'm going to try and finish this by then. It's very small, so I should be able to. I'm literally three pages in. I read it whilst I was brushing my teeth. There are no speech marks in this book, <laughs> which is interesting, and I'm intrigued to see the use of that device. However, I want speech marks. <laughs> this is like where's the speech is it just a short sentence is it speech is it thought I guess that's the point but yeah I this does not look like the kind of book I would normally read this is not the kind of book I would normally pick up this is completely out of my comfort zone however I am reading it because it is our book club book club pick at work and the girls want to discuss it next week at the end of next week so 
I should probably actually read it because it's our May book. So, hmm. Also, there are people in a sardine tin on the cover. Yeah. I, I don't know what to expect, so I'll let you know. Hello, I'm done for the day at work and for the weekend because it is Friday. Yes. Currently reading Normal People. Now, I'm only like five pages into this because... I just finished work. However, observation at the moment is there are no speech marks used and I am finding that a little bit confusing and weird because often when they're talking you can't really tell who is talking, like this is a page. So not that it's not that you can't tell who's talking but you don't immediately click that it's dialogue so you read it slightly differently which is a little bit irritating because it's making the writing style quite stilted but I'm literally on page six so I will read a bit more and see if I get used to it. That is really sunny. Um, oh, I thought I could look at the camera, but that's a struggle. Reading this, I'm gonna move this this way a bit. Um, reading Normal People, uh, 38 pages in now, so a little bit further along. Intrigued, intrigued. Um, it's trying to capture a relationship between two teens at the moment, and I assume they're gonna get older, possibly, maybe. I don't know actually, I just assume they would, but maybe they don't, um, and it's just about their getting to know each other and being very different social standings within the school life. So it's intriguing to investigate so far, and yeah, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Okay, it is well and truly the end of Friday. We had a Chinese for dinner, which was really good. And my mum has made me, I completely forgot what it's called, but basically it contains raspberries, a bit of sugar, some lemon juice and water. You put it in the freezer and then it comes out as like some sort of crunchy, because of the iciness of it, frozen sorbet type thing. I'm excited for it. So that's a good substitute for the chocolate that I'm not trying to eat. I haven't eaten chocolate for like three weeks, so we're doing well. Anyway, I have been reading a little bit more of Normal People. I am that far through, which doesn't seem like very much, but I'm like nearly at the page 100 mark. There's only 250 pages in this book. And you know what? I'm actually quite enjoying it. I'm thinking about it when I'm not reading it, which is a good sign. But yeah, it kind of demonstrates quite a raw teenage, not relationship, but how you can have feelings for people quite raw and intense at that age. And then it follows through from like 18 on to a couple of months later and then a couple of months later. And I assume it's going to keep going until they're properly, proper, proper adults. I'm intrigued. I will see where it goes. Read a bit more later tonight after we've watched some Manifest on TV. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm at my desk because I am working. Not like day job working, like blog working. Whatever. It works in my head. Um, so we're going to have a chat whilst I work because I haven't... Well, I have. I did introduce this vlog already, but um, the footage will not export from my phone to my computer. And I don't know why. It's really annoying me. Like, all my other footage will, but the footage I filmed earlier just will not budge. And I can't upload it to files and it won't go to Dropbox. I don't know why, so maybe it's somehow corrupted. But, meh. Yeah. What I did talk about earlier that um, you guys missed was I told you what The Bone Shard Daughter was about because I realised... I read that book earlier in the week and I never told you what it was actually about, I don't think. Now I've said this twice already because I filmed the footage earlier twice, so I should know by now, yet I still find the plot confusing. Basically, it is about an emperor who is potentially going to be overthrown. His daughter is the Bone Shard daughter. The Bone Shard thing comes from basically these weird creatures that are like Frankenstein's monster s creations. They're called constructs, but they're pieced together from other one animal, part of a squirrel, for example, and part of a bird thrown together. And they are controlled by a bone shard, which is like pushed disgustingly into their body and you can put your hand in and get it out. And the bone shard like has specific things engraved onto it. So it will have commands. So like spy on X person and do X thing in this situation. So in, it basically slaves, but without the humanity in them because they're programmed so robotic not robotic slaves and the way you get a bone shard is by doing something here to someone's head and it happens to all children at around the age of 12 and it can kill you because it's by your brain so the parents very much do not like it happening and it leaves a small scar so everyone's had it done basically in this land and basically it follows the emperor's daughter not quite agreeing with what's happening and trying to learn how to be a bone shard 
person <laughs> but, um also not agreeing with it and trying to slowly overthrow what her father is creating and prove that she can in fact be empress and maybe it's her time and then also follows um a smuggler who is just a good guy he's uh he's looking for his wife it's been his life's mission to find his wife who went missing eight years ago and he's just trying to follow this boat with blue sails that he thinks has her in it and he's just following this thing around the empire and going from island to island and causing a bit of a stir up because basically he is just helping people and he doesn't want to be helping he just wants to find his wife so he's quite funny and humorous but um he gets involved with some of the other characters in the narrative who are rebels and it has the two storylines going next to each other of the daughter trying to overthrow her father and the rebels trying to overthrow her father and various different people in power so it's an interesting book it is just weird um yeah also, halfway through Normal People, haven't read any more yet. I do need to because I've just about, after I've edited this, I will have done everything on my to-do list apart from edit my book, which is a whole other thing. I started writing a book last year, at the end of last year. No, in the middle of last year. And I'm three quarters of my way through my edit and I would really like to finish editing it. But I had a small pause and I need to get back into it. For a few, like, I haven't edited it for a few months, which is annoying because... I want to get it published if I can. Possibly quite ambitious, but why not? So yeah, we'll read Normal People later and try and finish it today because the Shelf Help Readathon starts today and I need to start my TV off of that. Not loving Normal People, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm intrigued and last night I couldn't stop thinking about it, but the more I've read last night and today, I don't like the relationship that's forming between, is he called Connell? Connell? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's set in Ireland, so it's slightly different names than in England. Um, and Marianne, who is, they're both teenagers and they meet at 18 at school and they have a very secretive relationship, kind of a relationship. They just have sex, basically. And it talks a lot about the sex side of it. And I think it captures the fascination of it quite well when you're that age. I think that the relationship they have is quite emotionally manipulative. And I don't like Connell because I think he is emotionally manipulating Marianne. And I just, it, I don't know why it's just not sitting quite right with me, but I'm just not quite getting on with it. And I will continue to read it because I want to know what happens. And a lot of people have said that they kind of switch between which characters they do and don't like. But also a lot of people have said they agree with me. So it's not that I'm not enjoying it. I like the way it's written. And I am now used to the no speech marks thing that was bothering me yesterday. However, I just don't like the way that he's being portrayed as this like nice guy and he is a nice guy but he's also being emotionally manipulative and I don't think he even knows it I think he's accidentally manipulating people I've seen that in my own life before that people kind of accidentally manipulate you and I don't think it's easy to spot it at the time but when you look back on it or when you read it in a book you can see it so that is what he is <clears throat> so choked on nothing that is what he is doing um yeah, I'm going to go read that in a minute. I've also got a FaceTime at some point today, soon, I think, with Lauren and Vicky, where we're going to play Animal Crossing. So that's my day. Um, it's a bit of a late update, really, because I thought I'd already filmed this update, but obviously having to refilm it now. But I have done all of my to-dos now, so I'm going to edit this and go and read. Reasons not to film in front of a window. This happens. Right. I, I come to a realisation. Connell, in this book, reminds me of a lot nicer version of Jasper in The Holiday. Jasper is the guy in The Holiday that follows Kate Winslet's character across the globe because he just cannot let her go and yet he is still not available to be with her. And it's like every time she tries to forget him, he's back there. Every time she's doing kind of different slash well with her life, he's there. He's there to remind her that he is still a human and she still likes him and wants to have sexy times with him. And this dude is doing the same thing. It really annoys me. I don't like you, Connell. I do not like you. You are not in my good books. You may be having some sexy times with people, but you're not in my good books. Also, on the sexy times thing. This book is way more about sex than I thought it would be. I did not peg it for that. I thought, going into this, this was going to be, like, really slow, really, like, elaborate writing, I suppose. And I did not realise it would be as raw as it is which I prefer I definitely don't like it when books bullshit around what they're trying to say so yeah I, I I like the writing style that's why I need to take away from this I just hate the characters 
So I finished Normal People. I rated it very, very low, three star, like very low, nearly two. In Core Pilot came out as that. I thought it would come out as like a two and a half, but we're at a low three. I didn't really like this. I normally DNF books I don't like, but this was a book club read, so I wanted to keep going with it. I don't have any issue with Sally Rooney's writing. I actually really liked her writing, but I couldn't stand the two main characters so much that it made me feel weird. It had such an atmosphere that reminded me of a feeling I used to have, and I don't like that. So I think I, my rating is purely based on how this book made me feel, not how this book is written. But given that it's my star rating, I'm justifying that because one of the things you rate it on is characters and atmosphere and enjoyment in Core Pile. And because those are all quite low, that did bring it down. So yeah, I can understand why people like it. And I'm not taking away from the fact that I think this is a well-written book. But for me, it just, it there's a lot of trigger warnings you need to go into with this. I would say if you are triggered at all by the following, then do not pick this up. I would say if you're triggered by emotionally manipulative and ab emotionally abusive behaviour in relationships, do not pick this up. If you are triggered by suicide, if you are triggered by abusive relationships within families, do not pick this up. Um, excessive drinking as well, don't pick this up. There are a lot of themes in it that could potentially be quite triggering. The trigger themes didn't bug me as such, but it just gave me weird feelings. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm led on my front, because I just ate a barbecue and I need to set up. So we'll just do that as I tell you about what I'm going to read next before I throw up everywhere. Right, that is better. I am going to be reading next Under a Dancing Star by Laura Wood. This is a Much Do About Nothing retelling set in Italy in the 1930s. I loved the film Much Do About Nothing with Kenneth Branagh and Emma Thompson and is it got Kate Beckinsale in it? Lo loads of people. Keanu Reeves is in it. Loved that as a kid. It's probably one of my favourite of Shakespeare's plays as well. So I am looking forward to reading this book. I think it will hopefully be quite a quick read. Also, look at the size of the font. It's really spaced out. Um, I feel like it's almost rewarding when you find a book like that because it's sometimes you just want to read as many books as possible and when you find one that looks like it'll be a quicker read, it's like a small win. So I'm going to start that tonight. Also going to have a bath, going to watch some more Manifest and eat some minstrels. My mum got me a tiny bag of minstrels because I haven't eaten chocolate for like three or four weeks. So yum, excited for that. And I might also start Normal People, the TV show, because I want to see how it compares and see if I find that an okay watch. So yeah, I'm going to do all of that in a bit. So I will speak to you later, I guess. I don't know why I'm not just signing off this vlog now, but I might read some more. So we shall see. <laughs> a bath it's like 10 30 in the evening i'm gonna go and sit and watch normal people which i hope will be better than the book i'm gonna give it two or three episodes before i decide whether i want to watch it or not but yeah end of the reading vlog i read two books oh i don't know how do i voice there That's clearly i've been talking too much i read two books this week which was Bone Shard Daughter and Normal People. And I've just started the Under the Dancing Star, is that what it's called? I've forgotten the name of it already, which is the Much Do About Nothing retelling. And I shall continue reading that tomorrow and I assume through into next week. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to see more of my face. You can comment down below what you were reading or whenever this is going live, what you were reading last week, <laughs> whether you liked what you were reading. Just chat with me in the comments. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I've read. Let me know what you thought of normal people because I need to know if people agree with me or not. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, yes, I am sat on my floor because I couldn't be bothered to move my ring light out of its designated spot, but I still needed the light to film this. Anyway, gonna go take my face off. Thanks so much for watching. Keep smiling and stay positive.